I'm Dr. Tom Mather, the Tick Guy from the University of Rhode Island. Take it from the Tick Guy. One little episode is all it takes to get a tick. So let's say you realize you've been bitten by a tick. There's a right way to take care of the tick that's attached to you, and then there are several wrong ways. Some of them may have worked for you in the past. You were lucky. It may not always work that way. People have, for eons, tried to get a tick to back out because it feels a hot object. Sure, that seems like a good reason to back out, but that really doesn't do anything except for potentially cause the tick to spit more inside of you. So it's never been a good idea to try and get a tick to attach using a hot object. What if you miss and you burn someone's skin as well? It's, it's not a good idea. How about things like suffocation products like botanical oils or Vaseline or something like that? Again, the better idea is to remove the tick right away as quickly as possible and without squeezing the back end. So squeezing a bag of potentially filled with germs into your skin. Remember that tick is attached to your skin with a straw. So the last thing you want to do is to squeeze anything in or delay have, you know, waiting for the tick to decide that it is suffocating and back out or something like that. So some of these things may work for certain types of ticks, especially American dog ticks that have short mouth parts but won't work for ticks like Lone Star ticks or black-legged ticks that have long mouth parts. Those ticks, when they bite, they're in it to win it. They wanna get that blood meal and they secrete cement, so they're not gonna back out very easily. So if one of those other methods worked for you in the past, I still wouldn't rely on it because unless you know what type of tick it is, um, it may be one of those ticks that has cemented itself into place. Our advice is that if you find a tick attached to yourself, always have a nice pointy tweezer to remove the tick from so that you can grab as close to your skin as possible and just pull straight out. So this leads us to another mistake that people often make is that they wanna get rid of the tick as quickly as they possibly can. And the mistake there is that, well, what kind of tick was it? How long was it attached to you? You just found it now. Maybe you think it just attached, but maybe it was attached for a day or two days or three days. You say, no way, doc, that can't have happened, but it can happen that way. And so make sure that you save the tick, um, put it in a Ziploc bag or some other kind of a container until you've had a chance to take a picture of it and send it to a tick expert to find out just what kind of tick it is and what your risk is likely to be. The biggest mistake that you can make is not wearing tick repellent clothing um, because these ticks are out there. They're likely to get on you if you go into their habitat. And so always be ready. Be ready for ticks using all the preventive strategies that we've suggested, including wearing tick repellent clothing and shoes.